Hello all, this is Halloween and today we're going to be doing a costume. Today's costume will be Cartoon Pop Art Girl. It's a very generally speaking costume. It's an easy one to do because you can pretty much use anything you've got at home. It's just mostly makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have all we'll need here to make our cartoon girl. What I suggest is going with either a 40s style, like a 1940s housewife style, or something very futuristic, more Judy Jetson, you know, with the brightly colored hair. Uh, the comics were bright. They were colorful, mostly primary colors. I chose to go with more like a 40s style housewife sort of deal. So I have here a pair of red polka dot shoes, which I already had. I believe I did buy these at a thrift store or at least a, um, a consignment shop for, I don't remember, it might still be on there. No, but it was a while back. I've had them for a while. Um, these are just a pair of polka dot leggings. I have a quarter length sleeve uh, top with a little J on it. It's got a little bit of a scoop neck, looks very 1940s style. It's also gonna cover a lot of my arms. It's going to make less work for me to polka dot myself in the cartoon style. So you want to consider that too. If you cover your legs with a pants rather than wearing a skirt or something, you're going to have your work reduced a bit because you won't have to cover as much in the polka dots. So something to think about. I have a little red beaded necklace there to go with. I thought it would go well with my red polka dotty shoes. And I have a beautiful bright yellow Marilyn Monroe style wig. Now I purchased this and I think the description, the item description was that it was a cartoon wig. It came with its own thought bubble that was already attached to a headband and everything however I can't locate it to save my life so we're gonna be making our own today our own little thought bubble as you can see I just took a piece of cardboard and I drew the thought bubble on there what I'm gonna do now is, I don't know if you remember my flower wire this is called flower wire if you go to Michaels you can go um, you can get some it's very thin well, it's pliable. It's, it's not super thin. It's a little thicker, but it's it's really easy to work with, really easy to manipulate. So we're going to be using this to attach the thought bubble to the headband. I drew out a pattern that I'm going to be cutting out, and then I'm going to paint both sides of it white. Then you're going to come up with some catchy phrase, whatever you want to put in there once it's all painted and everything. I would look online to get some ideas. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna cut this pattern out and I'm going to spray paint it white on both sides. I'll show you how that looks when I'm done. So we're gonna get started with our makeup. It's really simple, which is why I didn't really go over everything that I have here. I think what I'm gonna use is just a regular foundation flesh tone. I just basically wanna be real flesh tone, and we're gonna go with some white dots on our face. What I will say is, you can use anything from a pencil eraser. If you have a brand new pencil, it has the perfect round edge to put these dots on. I'm using a cream white, Ben Nye Clown White and a cream this time for the dots. I thought for polka dots it's going to be best to use a cream and if you have your final seal you won't have any problems keeping that on either. I'm going to do a sad cartoon girl, kind of sad, she's kind of broken up inside, maybe her boyfriend just dumped her. Uh, 
So we're gonna do some tears. I've got a Ben Nye Marine Blue for that. And I have my water to activate that. So like I was saying, you could use a pencil eraser, you could use a Q-tip. You're gonna probably have to use several because you know, wetting a Q-tip, consistently wetting it, it's, it's gonna get weird. It's basically paper and cotton. But I was in the hospital for my 30th birthday and you know how they put you on the Karen Carpenter diet and they make you like swab, you can only swab your mouth. You can't even have ice chips. I had to, yeah, be on the starvation diet because I was diagnosed with uh, diverticulitis. Well, they gave me these little spongy things and uh, I had them bring a bunch in there. I was like, yeah, I need to swab my mouth. I just wanted to take them home and use them for, for Halloween costumes. They have a really great shape to them. I'm not gonna open this one up. They're kind of like in the shape of a, uh, flower kind of I just kind of trimmed around it so that it would be a circle shape and I'm gonna use that to put my dots on so it's really great I have a bunch of these and they're awesome you might be able to get them online you know hospital supplies or whatever <sighs> sorry I just had to go off camera real quick I realized I forgot to put my foundation on usually I have these things done but I have a bit of brain frog and stuff going on because I had a the creeping crud all week. My husband brought it home. I don't know where from, but he got sick. I think actually my daughter came over sick and that's how we both got sick, but it sucks because I've been sick like all month. You know, when I was doing my Cuban club video, I was sick then, but I had allergies, which would be why I still got this virus thing, even though I'd already just been sick. So yeah, going on like week four of being sick and not feeling very good. So I wanna apologize in advance that this video is going to go out a little bit late. When I'm doing these uh, costume videos, there could be all kinds of things that go wrong. Um, sometimes it's just the weather. If I have things that I need to spray paint and things that need to dry and, and stuff like that, sometimes I have to wait on the weather. So. Um, if I don't have a video up by three o'clock, which is when I normally post, I'll have it up by eight, fingers crossed. If you don't see it by eight o'clock, I will have it up first thing Thursday morning. I don't try to do that, but like I say, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way I'd like it to. So um, I've been feeling like crap. I was being lazy Monday and Tuesday, and I was like, I have to do this. So here I am, rock you like a hurricane. Anyway, I've got everything on. I've got my foundation on. I think for this one, I'm gonna start with my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna put on a cat eye. I think I'm actually gonna wear blue contacts for this. And I didn't put those in yet. I'm telling you, I have brain fog. <laughs> Let me put those on and, and then we'll start with the eyes. Yeah, I'm not quite with it today, but I'm trying, I'm trying. So, um. <laughs> I put in my blue contacts. Please always remember, just because I'm doing contacts doesn't mean you have to. I'm a little extra. I'm extra, you know? Like, all this stuff, it, it just, it's almost like it just can't, nothing's ever enough. So I just try to just always do that extra. You may already have blue eyes. You may have green eyes. Mine are kind of like, you know, the color of muddy water. They're like greenish, brownish, you know, hazel, I guess you would call it. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do our eyebrows. You want a thick, very unnatural looking eyebrow. I mean, you're a cartoon. So these pop art costumes are so cute. I guess the first time someone did them was about, or the first time I saw it at least, it was probably by now about five or six years ago. I'm sure maybe they've been doing it for longer than that, but I was really like impressed with just the, um, the creativity of it. And it's so versatile. I've seen it with um, the dots being red, I've seen it with them being blue, and, and they all look really good. I personally like the white, because I feel like the red dots kind of look like, um, look a little bit like chicken pox. So I personally like the white. They're a little more subtle, still gets the point across. You know, but you can do it however you want. You can look online for inspiration. I do that. Like I said, have your trusty, these things are awesome. <laughs> if you mess up, so we're just gonna wanna do kind of a thicker eyebrow, more of a, we're going for that 1940s housewife cartoon, you know, Archie, if you will. So I do have Saturday morning cartoons on in the background. I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> it's, it's better than just being quiet, you know? 
That's what we're kind of going for. Something like that. We will be doing expression lines. So that's really good. Yeah. Now, if you want to do a um, male and female costume, obviously the go is, you know, he's a male version of the, um, the comic book or the pop art character for the hair they have rubber hair wigs that looks really cool if you're gonna be a cartoon this is the second time that I've done this particular uh, costume so it's not the first time you can see my nose is a little red underneath every time I do a costume again it's always better because the first time I do it I'm just you know you're not as good as it at it you like figure out things you could have done better and so y'all are in luck I'm a pro at this one Oh my God, I love this song. Have you heard it on the commercial? Stop the world and let me off? I'm feeling that way sometimes. Stop the world and let me off. It's like an old school country song. What a great line though. <laughs> if we could, wouldn't we? Even just for a day? I'm sweating profusely and I don't know if it's because I'm still kind of sick or what. It is what it is. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> You make it all worthwhile. I don't like this redness under my nose. It's another reason why I don't like to film or, you know, do costumes even with, you know, when I'm not feeling well, but gotta push these out. You know, it's, we're almost to Halloween. It's really close. Like, we'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be Halloween. So, gotta get these out. Can't waste any more time. All right, so I was thinking I'd go ahead and do my winged liner now. And sometimes that's tricky to do on camera. I kind of told you in my last video, Maleficent, if you haven't seen it, watch it, how you're gonna do your uh, winged liner. You're just gonna make a line here, make a line here, that kind of match up. And then you're bringing the line all the way out. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that off camera because it's, it's kind of boring to watch, but it's just a simple winged liner is what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna go a little bit more dramatic with your cat eye. And the reason for that is, we're cartoons. Everything's more dramatic when you're a cartoon. So you're gonna wanna do the wing tip out just a little bit more, a little bit of a thicker line, you know, just more drama. I just wanted to cut back on real quick and, uh, and show you what I had done. But I'm gonna do my other one off camera probably and just keep this moving today. So I did a, a much thicker, a much more dramatic cat eye. I would have done it all on camera, but I'm working with this Maybelline waterproof liquid liner, which I've been wearing since high school. But like I said, they changed the formula or something. Now instead of waterproof, it's basically water. <laughs> so to get a good one, it, it's a swing and a miss most of the time. It's I go in there to buy it and you know, I come home and it's garbage. It's crazy. Like, I'm gonna have to write to them because this stuff used to be the bomb. And you could go swimming in it and it wouldn't come off. So, I don't, I don't know what happened to them. They like said they're cutting corners or something. They could use some good advice from, what's his name, the Wendy's guy. No cutting corners. As you can see, I did a test dot just to make sure all was good. Up there, um, I think I'm gonna do my lines before I do the dots though, but it's ready to go. For lines, we're a cartoon. What I usually do, and I don't have it today, but I use a picture for reference just to get all, make sure I get everything. But I've been studying it for you today, so um, I should be able to get it pretty good. You're more or less anywhere you're, where you're having, where you have curves in your face, where you already have lines in your face. If you're young, you probably don't. Um, your cheekbones and things like that. You know, highlight your attributes. That's what you're gonna be doing to be a cartoon. You're highlighting the attributes. I'm just using a cheap black, it's Maybelline black pencil. We're getting there already. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a little clammy today, but we're gonna get it done. Both of my parents, my mom and dad, have always been really hard workers. And they kind of instilled in me the same, you know? I'm, I work hard. If I'm sick, I'm still working. So, um, it's true, I took a couple days to kind of do nothing. Now I'm kind of regretting it. I wish I would have done something. I'm gonna rub a little of that off. You see I got a little crazy with the pencil there. 
It's okay. That worked. These things, I'm telling you, I mean, they're amazing. If you don't have any, get some. They sell them everywhere. Target, wherever you shop, they'll have them. Going for my cheekbones now. See where we're going with that? I hope this light's not too bright. I hope you can see everything that I'm doing. Because, uh, that's important. I'm gonna go with the, this part too. Anytime you have a line you don't like or something that's blurred, just grab one of these, use the side of it, blend it right in. And it works. It's awesome. You know what I think I'm gonna do? A mole. <laughs> I have a mole anyway, so I'm gonna blacken it. Clean it up a little bit. Like I said, this is totally versatile. You can absolutely do whatever you want. I don't know if you've ever thought of this. I'm gonna finish up with my lines. Oh, I wanted to say, do you remember these from like when you were a kid? It's these white, it, they had like a, um, it was like a line of grease pencils. And they still sell them today, like in the Halloween stores. These are great to use as a white liner for your waterline if you're doing a cartoon character because they're a lot more, I don't know, color dense, I guess you can say, than a um, white pencil. Uh, just a little trick of the trade. They just cover so well. So I am lining my waterline with white. I've, I've still got to learn all my body parts here. You know, little things that come out of your... I just want to kind of accent them a little bit, not necessarily go all the way down. You are a drawing, so you want to look like a drawing. You always want to have napkins or, you know, something around, paper towel. It's a little too long. Don't like that. We're just accenting. So, just going around and cleaning this line up a bit. What I have seen that I really like is there's a... Much like you have this on your top lip, the two little lines. You kind of have that going on in your bottom lip too. You just maybe never notice it. I've seen some photographs where that's even accented. And I kind of like it. Looks really cool in pictures. So it's like a T kind of down at the bottom. Also, your bottom lip has a shadow. You know, if you have a bottom lip. <laughs> Everybody has a bottom lip. But you know what I mean? If it's, if it's prevalent, sticks out like most people's does, there's a shadow down there. So kind of takes care of that. And we are lining our lips with the black as well. I have told you in other videos that I do shake, so I do have to often uh, hold my hand steady with the other hand. We're starting to look cartoony. I'm gonna just clean up these lines a little bit. Now, dependent upon what you're wearing, obviously if you're wearing a turtleneck or something, you won't need to do any lines down here. But if you're not, and I'm not, mine is a boat neck, what I'm wearing, so you're gonna to wanna to find that little bone down in here. I'm gonna outline that. You see my uh, my shoulder blades? I was getting those ready. I'm gonna line those. So I'm gonna show with my shirt a little bit. That didn't turn out well. But I got my little, trying to like see where they are exactly so that I can line them correctly. Probably just need to uh, just use the line rather than curling myself up so much. I've got these to clean up any lines. The last time I did this, I forgot to do this part. And it still looked really good, but it just could have looked better, you know? You see, it's good. And even if it's a little sketchy, <laughs> that's okay because you are a sketch, more or less anyway. This one's gonna turn out better. There's always one side that turns out better. You're basically just following your bone structure with this, you know? Um, imagine if you were just drawing um, a person on paper you know you know where all those bones are you're just following that and I've seen also people do the jawline which actually also looks really good so we're gonna do our jawline so it's coming together we're not worrying about our ears our ears won't be showing I mean it just really depends on the type of wig you have but I doubt your ears will be showing so we're, we're not really concerned with that <clears throat> and what I was gonna do was a sad comic just because of what I you saw what I wrote on the on the uh, thought bubble so we're doing a few a little tear here I might have to do that with my um my liquid liner it's a really damp spot working on that uh that teardrop now I have seen some too that look really cool with the onomatopoeia um which is like bang pow boom you know they'll have the 
um, like a splat and then the bang, you know, pow, boom, or whatever on them. That looks really cool too. This is a very versatile uh, costume. You can wear it, you know, or do whatever you want with your makeup, really. Like I said, this is a beast to work with anymore. I don't know why. You see our tear? It's a little teardrop. This stuff is hot garbage. I'm so sorry. It's just bad. It wasn't always. I've been using it for years and it's just gone downhill. For some reason I keep buying it. I'm like, this one, this time it's gonna be better. No, <sighs> no, 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 no. Just, it gets worse and worse every time. So, that's it. The tears of a clown. I'm just gonna uh, de define my lips just a little bit more. Let's get our tear blue. So I'm gonna take one of these, a clean one. I've been using the crap out of these. I'll take a clean one, dip it in water. You're not trying to soak it, you're just dampening it. And then we've got our marine blue here from Ben Nye. Didn't get enough, still didn't get enough. I haven't used this one in a while, been a little bit. There we go. It's easier with a sponge. The aqua colors are a lot easier with a sponge. But since we're in such a small area, you can't really use a sponge. So, we're gonna have to do it this way. I do like the color. The color's looking good. We are tragic. Now we're just gonna do our dots. When you're doing your dots, just don't go. Try to have some kind of rhythm with it because that's the way the comics were, you know? So I have my first dot there. I'm gonna kind of follow that dot. The farther apart you put them, the less work you're gonna have. If you do really small dots, you're in for a lot of work. This is kind of like the perfect size here. Kinda. Now, don't be that person that just does their face and you don't do any other part of your body. Whatever part of your body is showing, do it. Because it's gonna, it's gonna really make your costume better. It'll take more time, you know. And I, again, I mean, it's up to you. But if you want your costume to look really good, you're gonna have to, you know, work a little harder. That's all. So dots are kind of like a brick lay. You do one line and we're doing slanted lines. The next line, you're gonna go in between the spaces with the next row of dots. That's how you that's how you do it and it looks good. So I forgot I wanted to put a little blush on. I'm doing this real pinky blush that I have from the urban whatever. Uh Ulta Booty Ulta Ulta Booty. <laughs> so I forgot I just wanted to do a little of the pink. Of course we're gonna be putting dots over it, but I wanted to accent uh, my cheekbones. You may not think it matters now, but when you see the finished product, you'll be like, wow, that's awesome. It is, it's gonna be awesome. See what I'm saying? You might have to twist it a little bit. We're gonna do that to our whole face. I'm gonna cut off, I'm gonna do my face, and then we're gonna do, um, for me, I have a boat neck. It just depends on what you're wearing. And then I'm gonna have to do my arms some, and my just my feet. I'm gonna cut off for a minute. I'm gonna do a little more of my face. You can see how I have that going on. That's exactly what you wanna do. And this thing works great. Seriously, if you can find some of these, they work awesome. So anyway, I'm gonna cut off for a few minutes, um, do a little more of my face. We're gonna do some white accents on our teardrop. We gotta still rouge our lips and uh, put on eyelashes, of course. Progress shot. So today is just not the best day. Uh, <laughs> I had some technical difficulties, which is why I went ahead and did a little bit more. Um, what I did with my teardrop, I already had it outlined in black. I had it blue in the center and I just accented it with a little bit of the white cream. As you can see, I polka dotted my whole body and anything that was showing, even my feet. Um, and I would suggest you do the same if you wanna be convincing. Was scratching at my tears but he just stopped anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna put on some lashes of course and I've already put on my wig I wanted to accent my lips as well with a little bit of white so I've put a red lipstick on I had outlined them in black you saw all of that so I just want to put a little white on there. It's 
to make it a little more cartoony. Maybe do this side as well. Anywhere where you feel you need to put it. Like I said, this one's versatile. So that's that. And then we're gonna do lashes. After lashes, we'll go out and take photos. I'm gonna go put my headpiece on, which we made, and we're gonna head out and take photos. We're losing daylight with a quickness. So uh, unfortunately, I had a lot of technical difficulties today, but you know that happens from time to time. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I want to apologize for the technical difficulties that's going to cause this to be a late upload. I had fun anyway. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video if you are loving these costumes. If you really want to see something cool, tune in next week. It's going to be mad. I'll see you next time.